Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Cloud and I will be your instructor for this course. Welcome to the new semester. Um, in this video, I want to go over some things that I hope will help you get started off on a great foot and have a successful semester. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see here I'm on the Mesa, the main Mesa webpage, and um, to find it, it is um, sdmesa.edu. I just want to point out that on this main page, we do have a link to our Blackboard site. So if you want to, you know, an easy way to find Blackboard, you can always go to the Mesa website or you can bookmark your Blackboard site, whatever works best for you. Just wanted to kind of point that out. When you click on the Blackboard um, link, it will take you right into your to our Blackboard main site. Um, I've already logged in, but if you're new to Blackboard, your login will be your um, student ID number and your password will be your birth date. And it's all of the numbers of your birth date. So it's two for the month, two for the day, and four for the year, okay? Once you get into Blackboard, you're going to see a My Courses area and you should see your current courses that you have a Blackboard site associated with. I have several from last semester. This is just kind of my little demo account, so just don't pay any attention to those. So let's go ahead and click on our main, um, our course site right now, our link. Now yours may look a little different, but I'm making this as just a general um, video for several of my classes. So if you don't happen to be in the 120 class, don't panic, things will look very similar, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and click on that link and that will take us into our main page. On the main page, um, many times I will have some information here right on the course homepage to um, you know, point out to you things to do, things to look at. I also use announcements to communicate with everyone. Um, I sent out a welcome announcement at the beginning um, of the semester, so hopefully you got that through your email as well. So that's another place that you can check for things that I'm needing to communicate to you, okay? Um, the first thing, obviously, if we want to help you, I wanna help you get started. So I have a link set up right here. It's called the Get Started Here link. Um, you'll see that often in my instructions, uh, you will, I will refer to the course tools menu, and that's what this area on the left here is. It's just an area where I have quick links set up for you. So most of the time, you should be able to find everything that you need right on this course tools menu. So on the Get Started Here page, um, you'll see the first thing I recommend that you do is review your course syllabus. And I have that listed here. I'm going to uh, click on that link in just a sec. Um, you know, there's just some information here that I want you to read through. When you're ready to look at your syllabus, you can either click this link or you'll notice on that course tools menu, I do have another link set up. So either way, if you want to get to your syllabus, either link will take you there. Okay, I'll just use this one on the course tools menu. Okay, so on the syllabus page, you will find a couple different options. I have your full syllabus set up here, either in a PDF format or a Microsoft Word um, format. Um, I would recommend that you download the syllabus just so you can have it saved onto your computer hard drive or a USB drive, whatever you're using. That way, if maybe your internet isn't working or what have you, you would still have a copy of the syllabus if you needed to look for things. Okay. On this page also, you will find that I have the syllabus broken up into different parts. Um, so let's say that you were just looking at what do I need for course materials. Let's go ahead and click on that and I will go over that um, briefly. So there are two options you have for your um, textbook. You can either get a hard copy textbook. If you decide to go this route, it's a bundle. So it comes from the Mesa bookstore. Don't go to City, don't go to Miramar. We all kind of order different books even though we teach the same classes. So make sure that if you're getting the hard copy textbook, you're going to the Mesa bookstore. It will be shrink wrapped and it will come with the textbook as well as the My IT Lab access code. My IT Lab is a, um, uh, another, it's a website from the publisher that we will be using um, to do some of our exercises and get some course content from. So you do need to get an access code. Um, so you'll see down here that when you are looking for the book, uh, the book is a custom book. It's based on this comprehensive book, but we're not using all of the chapters. So I just wanted to eliminate some of the chapters that we're not using 
to hopefully save you a little bit of money. Um, the other option for the book is if you decide that you want to use the ebook only, then what you can do is just purchase the My IT Lab access code. You can get that either at the Mesa Bookstore or if you just want to sign up for My IT Lab online, you can pay for it with a credit card right then. Okay, so that would be if you're going to use just the ebook. You're not going to have, you know, a hard copy textbook. So either way um, is fine. The nice thing about um, the uh, ebook being online is that um, the publisher gives us a 14 day temporary access to the ebook. So if you are waiting for financial aid to come through or um, you just you know can't get the book right away, you will have two weeks to use that ebook and then decide you know whatever you want to do, purchase the other um, the book or the temp or the you know permanent access code, then you can always update your access code. Um, and then there's some other optional materials here. If you're going to be working on campus or somewhere else besides your main computer, you might want to keep everything on your flat, a flash drive, a USB drive. Um, if you have any questions about any of these materials, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you with that. So I'm going to have you kind of run through this other information. I do have a site that if you need the Office 2016 software, you can uh, go to this site and some and I do have some other options here as well. So make sure that you're reviewing all of this. I won't bore you and go through it all, but um, just kind of take a look at that. At the bottom of each one of these pages, I do have a link that goes right back to the course syllabus. So you can always use that to kind of get back and then continue um, looking down the list. The other thing that I will point out is I do have all of the assignments and due dates listed here as well. They're obviously in your syllabus. So, um, you know, if you don't have your syllabus handy um, with you, you can always come back into the course website and find all of that information. Okay, so let's go back to the Get Started Here page. So once you have reviewed your syllabus, the next thing I'm going to have you do is uh, complete your course overview assignment. Now, this assignment you do not need to have your book for, so you can do it right away, and you can see it, the due date is listed here. Again, if you have a different due date, don't worry about it. Just go by the due date that's listed in your um, website or on your syllabus. You're just going to click this link and it will take you over to um, a Google form that I've created and I will just have you fill it all out. So you're just going to go through here and answer the questions. At the very bottom, it will um, turn it in to me. So once you're all done, you'll click on submit. That will send it over to me. And then once I've reviewed it, I will post your points in Blackboard. Okay, back to the Get Started page. The next thing I want you to do is introduce yourself on our discussion board. Um, even though we're an online class and we may not actually see each other in person, it's a great way to kind of get to know each other um, and form a nice little sense of community. So again, this one is also due by August 31st. Here's a link that will take you right to the discussion board. And then the last thing on your getting started list is to actually register, <laughs> now it's easy to say, register yourself in your Pearson course, which is our My IT Lab course. So if you click right here, you will see that there are instructions on how to get this done. Basically, the main thing that I want to point out to you is that um, the way I have our Blackboard site set up is that you will always go through Blackboard to get to My IT Lab. So they're linked together. So when you're signing up, you do not need a course ID to do this because you're going to use the link from Blackboard. So let me go back over here. On this course tools menu, you can click on this course content link, My IT Lab course content link, and that will take you right into our My IT Lab site. And then you can go ahead and get registered there. Remember, I have the instructions on how to do that right here. You can set up a 14-day temporary code. If you don't have, you know, the materials right now, the access code, go ahead and set up the 14-day um, the temporary code, and that way you can get started on your work. Uh, sometimes you will use um, the course home link if you need more menu options, but most of the time I think you're going to use the course content link. I also have a My IT Lab resource page, and I'll get into that um, in a different video uh, for you. But just know that there are lots of resources. And again, main thing, please log into your Blackboard account and then 
go into my IT lab, and that way we're going to keep everything linked together. Okay, so those are your getting started items. So click on the get started here button, go through those items, and um, and oh, and there are resources down here, some tutorials, help desk, etc., just for you to have at um, your disposal if you need it. But I think that that's about it for now. So um, I hope that this has helped you in your getting started efforts as we uh, get this uh, semester underway. If you have any questions, please email me through the email instructor link right here on our Blackboard site, and I will be happy to work with you to help you um, in any way I can. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Thanks so much.